guys, what is up? It's Zero here, and today we're going to be going over the next set in this video that we're going to be going over, and that set is going to be the Fatal Set. Uh, this drops from stage two of the campaign map, and this set is a four piece set that boosts your attack power uh, by an additional 35%. Um, early on in the game uh, you're going to want to try and get this on, on a couple of your monsters that you start off with um, uh, so they can deal a bit more damage to help uh, some of the stages and when you eventually get down here to uh, to the dungeon uh, to get through some of those levels uh, fairly quickly uh, once you get here to start farming up some better quality runes so they drop from here um, and as is with the other video, um, you can get only a certain amount of star level from each of the different difficulties. Uh, normal is going to be a 1 to a 3 star. Uh, hard is going to be a 2 to a 4 star. And hell mode is going to be a 3 to a 5 star. Um, again, each of the six stages drops the rune in reference to the position on the rune uh, diagram and stage seven can drop uh, any of the runes with a chance of them being a higher grade so um, a few monsters that you may be able to get a hold of in the early game uh, one that you start off with is going to be Tark. Uh, he is one of the, or Seek, I'm sorry, not Tark, Seek. Um, you get him, he is one of your beginning monsters they give you. Um, they give you him, they're going to give you the Water Fairy, and they're going to give you the Wind Vagabond as your starting three, three team, one of each element. He is going to be one you're going to want on... A fatal set. Um, when I get to the next video and go over the blade set, he would be one you would want to do as a fatal blade. Um, and you would want to do early game, you'd want to do probably a attack percentage in slot two, crit rate in, in slot four, and another attack percent in slot six. Um, he can be used in in game in some places not very much um, he's primarily just an entry beginner uh, monster that you will use up to about three or four star um, he's a two star monster you'll probably three or four star him just to progress through some of the campaign elements and stuff and, and break into some of the dungeons to start trying to farm up some of those four star runes for, uh, to kind of build up your team to progress up to get the five and six star runes um, but attack crit attack would be a good one um, if you want to go any further with him you could do crit damage in slot four if you can get enough crit on some of your uh, substats from your other runes um, but he is going to be one that you would build that way uh, let's see other two stars or three stars that you may get early on Rauk Rauk would be another good one now he's farmable at a later stage in the game so you could really get a hold of him um, if you get lucky you can farm that stage a few times to try and get one of him to pop up um, with the new awakening system he is really really good now he's used in a lot of in-game content um, he's definitely one if you can get him early he'll also be on fatal blade in the beginning um, attack crit rate attack um, is how you would roll him um, but the fatal rune set is the attack attack set um, that you will also be able to farm up pretty early. My Rauk is even still on Fatal um, because I have not been able to get a Rage set to put on him yet. But, so Fatal Runes. Um, you could put this set on your Water Fairy um, because her heal 
is based off of her attack. The higher her attack, the more she heals. It's not necessary. Um, and a lot of people may recommend don't do it. I, If you want to, do it, but you don't have to. Um, you could put her on all energy, just kind of make her tanky so she can sit there. If you can get some attack substats on your energy runes, that would be fine. Um, um, you could even do an energy with an attack HP HP for her. Um, uh, that could work a little bit. Just put a little bit of attack in there so she has a nice kind of a buffy heal. But there are some other units that you will get later. Um, or you could luck out in pooling um, that are a lot better at, at heals. So you don't necessarily need to put a whole lot of emphasis on the water fairy. Um, fatal runes, um, even some good sets of fatal runes are still used throughout the entire game from beginning to the end um, and as always you definitely want to do a percentage in the two four and six slot uh, my Rauk is on attack crit damage attack um, he's using the fatal blade um, I've just upgraded his runes as I've gotten better starred qualities um, He's unfortunately not quite tanky enough for some of the stuff I want to use him in. Um, but you want to try and get an 80% crit rate or higher on him as as far as, uh, you know, pumping him up to six star is definitely worth it. Um, the Fatal Set will help you out early on uh, especially as you use some of your uh, uncommon scrolls um, to summon um, some of the monsters do really really well with the uh, fatal set um, some other monsters that I would recommend getting a hold of with the fatal set um, would be see here copper would not do very well with the fatal set he is a defense based monster um, so even if you did a fatal set on him with all defense it still wouldn't help um, because the fatal only buffs the attack let's see here my three stars mm, the Frankenstein monsters uh, all of them would be pretty good on fatal um, although I do believe one of them does use HP can't remember if it is the fire or the water uh, one of them do do some HP damage I believe it's the fire Frankenstein the werewolves would be good at okay so the water werewolf would be a, another good one for energy um, I believe the fire werewolf do I have any nope the Fire Griffin could be good with Fatal. The Fire Inferno would definitely be good with Fatal. The Fire Elemental would also be really good with Fatal. Uh, and let's see who else. Uh, some of these early game monsters. Uh, nope, the red fire bear would be. Um, so, yes, uh, Kali would be a good one for fatal early game. 
Um, I do believe they switch, uh, some people switch him over to something else. He is used in some other very niche spots. Fatal would work good on him on early game. Um, attack, crit, attack uh, for the 246 slot. Um, his second skill ignores defense. So definitely build him with Fatal. He would work on Fatal. Um, the Fire Werewolf could also work with Fatal. Uh, no, his his damage is also based on HP. Um, the the Fire Grim Reaper would be another good one for Fatal um, if you can get him early game. Um, so would the Magical Archer. She would also be good on Fatal. Um, just they're just some of the monsters just in case you do happen to pull them um, Ralk is one I would definitely look out for I would go farm him <clears throat> as soon as you're able um, how once you get to a certain point in the campaign you will be given uh, Lapis the water magic knight um, early game fatal blade for her for sure attack crit damage attack um, as you get closer to in-game, you can change that up, um, and even possibly, like me, have a despair set on her. She is my current farmer when I don't have any friend monsters to use. Um, she is my farmer. Um, I have her based on attack, crit, attack, and she can solo farm it no problem. Um, the reason she, part of the reason she's good, is her third skill is an absorb. Um, she recovers HP according to the damage dealt, and it's an AoE. And I don't even have mine fully skilled out yet. Oh, wow. Um, her second attack is also sort of an AoE. It's a random AoE, so it could possibly hit the same monster four times, but each, each bullet uh, does, has a chance to do a decreased defense. And then her first one is an attack an enemy target twice, and then on the third strike it attacks all enemies. So she's basically got AoEs across the board. They give her shortly after you progress a certain way through the scenario, and I would definitely recommend building her up. Um, she would be a farmer. She's also usable in a lot of different areas of the game, so she's definitely worth building. Um, these ones here, uh, Tarks. You can also build them on Fatal early game and switch them over later game. So Fatal is going to be good for a lot of your damage dealers, um, a lot of your two and three star damage dealers that you may pull early game, um, and that'll that'll definitely help. Um, depending on the monsters you pull, it depends on what type of substat you would want to go for. Um, most of your damage dealers you would want to shoot for speed crit crit rate crit damage um, attack percentage and HP percentage if possible um, maybe some defense also depending on what you're lacking on that particular monster um, but anyway you'll farm fatal from stage two and in the next video we will be going over the blade set uh, once we get those three sets out of the way, um, I'll probably do a video on some of the early game monsters that you may have a chance to find, and which ones I would recommend keeping and using either to a certain point or even all the way to end game. Um, another pointer I'll throw out there before I end the video is you don't necessarily need to focus on getting a farmer six starred first um, it, it most likely will be your first six star but it's not the first thing you want to do um, you what you want to do first in the game is build up a decent dungeon team which will be a five-man team 
so you can get into the dungeons start farming up a couple of those levels and getting some decent rune sets put together then you could focus on six starring your farmer after that um, what you'd probably primarily want to do is as you're going through and farming up some sets uh, entry to the game try and get a few monsters to four and five star and then get some rune sets together from from early dungeon levels and once you get a decent three four even maybe five star set of runes together then I would six star your farmer so you can uh, start getting food together to get all of your monsters you're going to keep to six star and another good reason is get into uh, a group um, they do have uh, a mentor part of the game you can sign up for uh, to request a mentor you're allowed to use their monster in dungeons and adding friends to your friends list on here is one of the better things to do because you can use their monsters to farm up your fo food each day uh, you have maximum of 50 50 friends so that's 50 50 times you can run a, a scenario map to farm your food um, that being because the rep monsters that you get from your friends don't get experience so all of the experience would go to your food so that's why farming up a six star farmer and building them first is not necessarily necessary uh, because you can get them from your friends and use their rep monsters until you're able to build yourself uh, your monsters up to six star so that's all there is today on the fatal runes um, and I'll be back again later with the blade rune set.